He's back. Rafael Chilius has returned to South Kent, the program he built from the ground up back in 2003 and lined with future high major and NBA players like Isaiah Thomas, Dion Waiters, Andre Blatch, and Darrell Wright. Not surprisingly, this year's South Kent team is the most talented we've seen in recent years, with close to 20 future college players. In the class of 2021, Nas Williams is already committed to Cornell. He's a versatile scoring guard who puts the ball in the basket at all three levels and has really built up his body this year. O.C. Price, a skilled 6'6 six six wing, is another high academic prospect and maybe the team's most consistent player. He's highly skilled, a knockdown shooter, and just has a good feel for how to play the game. He's not alone when it comes to making shots, though. In fact, this may be the best shooting team we've seen in the NEPSAC this year. Jordan Ganey's a knockdown shooter with a long and emerging basketball frame to match. His long-term upside on both ends of the floor is as high as any guard here. Jay Kalviak is almost automatic when he's in rhythm. He's also physically strong with a college-ready body and very efficient floor game. Luke Stankovic is another big guard who makes threes, but he's also maybe the toughest competitor here, capable of playing all three perimeter positions and even running the point effectively. Cam Shanefeld is a local product who already knew how to play, make, and score, but he's learned how to run a team since his arrival. Jordan Brown, Aiden D'Agostino, and Samuel Sitt are other guards that small D3 schools need to be aware of. New Hampshire native Matt McCool is out right now after taking a nasty blow to the face, but he's continued to grow, literally and figuratively, this year, showing his full versatility and now approaching six foot nine. Jaden Doyle is one of the best athletes on the team. The six foot five wing thrives in transition, can defend multiple positions, and is learning what it means to play with a high motor on a daily basis. Chika Naduka is a versatile forward who has the size and strength to bang inside, but can also handle the ball and start the break like a guard. Mike Rogan headlines five players in the 2022 class, and on a team full of shooters, he looks like the very best. He's also getting better on a daily basis, which is why he's planning to return for a postgrad year. Andre Johnson is a scoring guard in the class, while Blake Macklin, Keandre Johnson, and Jaden Green are all local Connecticut products, improving on a daily basis. Sophomore big man Papa Conte is the best long-term prospect on the team. He's six foot ten with a chiseled frame. He can run the floor and has early face-up touch. Freshman Adonis Lafleur is another talented youngster to keep an eye on in the years to come. So yes, there's clear talent, but more than that, there's a daily commitment to playing the right way, to developing grit and a blue collar approach, to defend, play with pace, share the ball and space the floor, to develop every player on the team, but within a team first context. In short, Rafael Chilios is back and the encore performance could be even better than the original.